جی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹوڈے انشاءاللہ شاء اللہ ویل ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ دا واٹ تھری ڈیٹا وے ہاؤس ماڈلس وے ہاؤس ماڈلس اینڈ براڈلی اٹ کین بی کیٹیگرائز ان ٹو تھری ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس اوبیسلی دیس کیٹیگرائزیشن دے بیسڈ آن دا ویکینسیز ان ٹرم آف سائز size means for the large organization or the enterprises uh, the um, uh, uh, the uh, um, data virus comparatively different as compared if you want to make the data virus for the small department or the part or the one part of the organization etc we will discuss one by one what are these so today we will discuss about the what are the three different three data warehouse models are there Let's see. In other words, we can say, what are the computing tools they are required or designed uh, for the decision making in the business management? <clears throat> so, in other words, of, for, uh, based on this one, we can categorize them. That the, these are the these are the tools, or these are uh, then uh, that will be required to tools or that will be required to make uh, to 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 simplify the decision making uh, in the business management. First one is about the enterprises warehouse. As the name suggests, enterprises means large organization in which number of systems were there, number of information systems were there. And some there is some mechanism or some, some architecture will be there uh, that these the, the, these the, uh, these different information system can be collectively organized and managed. Some software architecture that will be required to manage all of the different type of system. Take simple example for the King Saud University or the Samba Bank, or we can say uh, Utah Market, Jerry etc. They are the uh, an organization. Okay, they are the number of system for there. Is, uh, even if we take the example for the King Saud University, we have the number of system as LMS system, then we have the educate system, then we have the EKSU system for the faculty, EKSU system for the students, and the system for library system, access system, financial system, uh, etc. Come back uh, to the concept as the enterprises warehouse collect all information about the subject collect all the information about the subject customer product sale asset personal that span the entire organization means it collect all of the information about uh, uh, all of the information for example as the they give this mention as the for example the customer in terms of all of the customer the products, sale, asset, personal, finance, marketing, planning, marketing, planning, production, as enterprises consist of, uh, then, for example, if you are talking about the King Saud University as in enterprises, we do not have something about the in terms of production, although production can be regarded as the research production. Okay. That is the entire organization. That require extensive building model. But in order to build the enterprises warehouse, it is very difficult because one th one number one is because of the large size of the organization, and they have a different functional unit over there. I give the example for the personal, for personal sale, marketing, planning, etc. There are different functional unit over there, and uh, they need all of the function need to be considered. So, very highly or extensive business modeling will be required. May take a year to design and build. Most likely, it is it required one to three years just to design and build the enterprise's version of the data warehouse. It means two, three years. Then, uh, what about the second one? Data mart. As simple we can say data mart is a subset of the enterprises. 
डेट और डेटा वेयर हाउस इट इज सबसेट यू कैन से सबसेट और डिपार्टमेंट सबसेट ऑफ द इट इज अ डिपार्टमेंटल सबसेट ऑफ द डेटा वेयर हाउस और दी कैसे और द एंटरप्राइजेस ओके और दैट फोकस ऑन सिलेक्ट द सब्जेक्ट हियर दे नीड टू कंसीडर अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट्स हियर वे नीड टू कंसीडर अबाउट द अबाउट फॉर एग्जांपल द मार्केटिंग फॉर एग्जांपल जस्ट द मार्केटिंग जस्ट द मार्केटिंग for need to choose a particular subject what about the marketing mean in the marketing we need to take marketing of the product required who are the target customers and what are the products that required to market moreover uh, it is uh, somehow it may relate about the sale prices if lower the price of the sale uh, uh, then the more customer can be attracted or some in other words we can say marketing has some for example sometime the company offer some promotion giver so in other words we can say uh, data mart in the under category for the data warehouse model which is a subset of the uh, enterprises data warehouse and they focus on the particular subject okay. faster roll out less time will be required if you want to implement maybe 6 month or less will be required uh, if you want to for the modeling then complex integration in long term yes advantage is faster roll out disadvantage is in the long term when you want to make integration for the rest of the functional unit it require it will be complex because a data mart is designed based on the requirement of the particular subject so in, in, in other words we can say want to make integration for the uh, for different functional unit for different subject then it will be difficult third one is about the third one third model represent as a virtual warehouse virtual warehouse in other words we can say we keep the uh, we give the we, we set the views we set some of we set some of the views or over the operational database operational database we set the views so in other words we can say the, the concept for the data warehouse that they, they retrieve they retrieve the, the data from the operational database in the centralized it's in the centralized consolidated database here they we set the views of over the operational database only some of the views may be materialized obviously some of the views materialized let's see what does it mean uh, here the we here the the materialization what does it mean the materialize let me first explain what is materialization then i will proceed materialization it is a database object that contain the result of the query matlab what is materialization database object that contain the result of a query in other word we can say it is a form of cache that result a query it some of form of caching were there uh, later on i will discuss what is a cache uh, okay <clears throat> i will discuss later on what the concept for the cache or reusing okay uh, what is a olap server architecture first what is olap okay but when what are the server architecture olap is a major the major task of the olap is of the uh, the near task of the olap for the data warehouse or there they are used for the decision analysis and the decision making in the olap obviously they have some tools for olap is a tool that is required for the decision making etc now let's talk about the what are their architecture the olap architecture olap architecture again has three different types were there relational olap multi dimensional olap and the hybrid olap relational multi dimension and the hybrid olap let's see what are the feature for the relational in the relational oap we use the concept for the relation simple concept for the relation can be described as the relation relation database will be used relation database simple concept for the relation is something the concept based on the principles of rows and columns let's see moreover as uh, moreover um, we have the two type we have we have two types for there detail value and the aggregate value recall that in the previous we talk about the four operation roll up drill down navigation and the virtual and, and the visualization so what roll up means summarization drill down is going into the detail then 
navigation about dice and the virtual visualization about the pivot. So, in the relational OLAP detail value, they are both the detail value and the aggregate value both will be stored in the relational table. Detail value in the relational fact table. In the detail value, that is, uh, if you are going drill down, then it is stored in the relational fact table. Store the aggregate value in the relation database as well. Moreover, in other words, things both the detail value and the aggregate value they were stored in the relational database. About the second one, multi-dimensional cube, or it gives rise the concept for a multi give rise the uh, concept of the cube. The call that we talk about the in terms of cube sub cube. Okay. Um, multi-dimension store both the detail aggregate like value within the cube. Both of the values they were stored within the cube. <coughs> Let this be it. Yes. Now let's talk about the third one. Hybrid O L A P hybrid with the the combination of both the relational and the multi-dimension O L A P. The reference a hybrid. In the hybrid, that the detail value they are stored in the relational fact table, whereas the aggregate value they were stored in the cubic implementation. Three types were there. Now let's okay, please wait for the moment. Now the, we try to understand this concept for the OLAP architecture with the model form as OLAP server architecture. As I just mentioned, the in the OLAP in the relational OLAP, how the mapping will be done for the detail value and the aggregate value. Then that the detail value both 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 will be stored in the relational database form. Both that is as it shows cylinder of cylinder shows the relation. So the, the, the detail value they were stored in the relation fact table and the aggregate value okay they were stored in the relation database as well. Both of them they were in the relation form. What about the multi-dimensional OEP? Both the detail value and the aggregate value they were stored in the cube or multi-dimensional cube. What about the hybrid? Hybrid is the combination of the RO, this one and this one. Hybrid is the combination of relational and the multi-dimension. In the hybrid architecture, in the in the hybrid, hybrid server architecture, the, the detail value, they were stored in the relational fact table and the aggregate value, they were stored in the queue. So these are the feature for the OLAP service architecture. <clears throat> now let's talk about the efficient data compression. Efficient data cube, data cube computation. Recall that in the previous slides we talk about the number, we talk about the letters of cubite. In the previous slide we talk about this one. Then. Or in other words, we can say when we talk about efficient data data queue computation, uh, first we need to know what are the different type of techniques they are available for the computation. One technique is about the aggregation. Aggregation aggregation means that the aggregate or combine together integrate from the smallest a smallest child cubite. The second one is about the caching. The the concept of the caching is Caching the result of a cubite 
for computation of other qubit to reduce disk input output resources caching can also is can also understand as for example uh, proxy for example the, the cache the cache used in the our browser in the browser when you visit first time to the website it required a little bit delay then for the second time uh, if, if for the first, if for the second time the browser use the cache or cookies use the cache or cookies so it is not required to download all of the contain when you when you visit the website second time it will first get from the cookies browser cookies so less time will be required so this so it means other word we can say we are using the concept for the cache so caching so in other words we can say for the computation for the computation techniques one of the things about the irrigation the second technique is about the using the cache third one is about the uh, about the sorting or use the hash then operation that applied on the dimension so in order to uh, reorder all the cluster this we will not discuss about what are these then four technique can be given the pruning i will the pruning in the uh, second type that is a partial metalization later on i will discuss what are these just come back to the concept as efficient data compression as data cube can be viewed as a letters of cubite we so we in the previous like, slides we talk about the uh, different type of let, uh, uh, cubites then the top one is the apex and the bottom one is the base then the bottom most the bottom most cubite is the base cubite and the top one cubite apex contain only one cell apex contain only one cell then one dimension second dimension third dimension until n dimension then uh, we also have this uh, uh, in this previous slide we also discussed about the number of cubites required for n dimension and each of the dimension have l level of hierarchy it can be calculated as l plus i then make a product of from from i to n then recall that for, suppose if l is equal to one single level l is equal to one single level where the l and three dimension where the l the one plus one is equal to two and two power three is equal to eight so eight cubite eight cubite uh, will be required to represent uh, number of cubites required to represent for the uh, three dimension the single level hierarchy we have discussed in the previous slides now let's talk about the metalization Although I just I give the metalization in the previous uh, is, uh, pre uh, just in the previous slide as what is the metalization make a review it is a database object that contain result of a query our metalization can also be described as a it is a form of cache that result a query form of some cache that that uh, that contain the result of a query that then. There are two, three types of the metalization version: full metalization, partial metalization, and no metalization. Let's, let's talk about the what is the full metalization. Metalize every cubite. Every cubite will be metalized. It is a, a, a cubite. If uh, full metalization, we will discuss each of these three type of metalization one by one. The next slides. Partial metalization, no metalization. In the no metalization. Okay, then in the no metalization, what we need to do? <clears throat> okay, we will make use of the concept for the indexing technique. Bitmap indexing technique will be used. No cache will be used. No no cache mechanism. There is no cache mechanism will be there. Then we have the partial metalization. In the partial metalization, we need to identify what are we need to identify the cubo, cubite uh, 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 some some identified. The rest will be neglected. Selection of which qubite is to metalize based on the size sharing across the uh, axis frequency. So it, not all of the qubite will be metalized, but some 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 uh, some qubite will only be metalized. We now come back to the concept. Let's talk about the uh, what are the different type of cube operation were there. <coughs> Cube definition and computation DMQL data mining query language define the cube. As I mentioned that the the structure of the DMQL 
and the syntax of the DMQL is very similar to the SQL structure query language. Very strong. Unless we have some some uh, new, some other op new operators were there, then for example, define cube, define cube. Recall that when recall that uh, 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 in the in the start, we only say, let me show you what are these we have discussed. For example, here we talk about the define cube stars, different type of schemas we have discussed in the previous. So, yes, here we have define cube, then uh, you can select any name and we use the bracket. In the bracket, we have the dimensional heads. Item city here, there are the three dimensional heads were there. Moreover, we then we use the colon sign. And this is the measurement. What we want to measure in the measurement, we, for example, we may use some of all of the sale, some sale in the currency means some of all of the sale or the every sale, minimum sale, maximum sale, or number of number of items sold in terms of use. So we can use different. So we can use different uh, uh, statistical. Function can be used, some minimum, maximum, etc. We can use them. Different statistical function can use them. Then compute sale. Another operator is compute sale in the DMQL. Compute cube sale. Then transform it into the what we will do, we will transform uh, these into the SQL like SQL similar like language with a new operator cube by. So for example, these are the operator in the SQL. We don't have the cube by here. We have the compute define cube, compute cube. These are these are the these are the uh, operator in the DMQL. Then as, let me show you this one. Select select function. Select is used as a for example list of the uh, the are the list of the attribute required. They are the required to answer the query. List of the attribute item. City here, then sum, then then in the sum of sale in the currency or total. In other words, where the interpretation of sum is uh, total sale, total sale. Then uh, from which which list of the table required to answer the query. Then we have the another we have the operator used in the DM twelve the cube by cube by similar to working as the as the group by, as the group by or order by. For example, the SQL we have the order by. Here in the DMK we have the queue by. Because in the uh, because in the DMQ data mining query language, we work most likely in the cubes. Then then in the queue by the order first is the queue till the item, then city, then year. Need compute the following group by. We need to compute the following item city year. Then here for the for example here it is the uh, apex zero dimension one dimension two dimension three dimension or the base single or base <coughs> it will be represented as okay so it can be grouped by s yes. So in other words, we can say because it is a, a here, it is written that it will be first it will be group item, then city, then year. So first it will be group item, then city, then year. Now let in the now let's discuss three type of materialization as we just saw the name in the start of the lecture. That is partial materialization. Full metalization and no metalization. There are three types of metalization, but they are going to discuss these three types. <clears throat> In the partial metalization, okay, what are the, uh, okay. In the partial metalization, choose view to answer a queue. It means we may have different views for there, and we need to check which are the views which will be required to answer the query or in other words technically we can say uh, obviously 
the uh, to work on this metallization some calculation computation will be required to work on this cuboid we need to find which cuboid required the less number of calculation less number of calculation less cost will be required let's see what are the steps required for the partial metallization as identify all of the cuboid that may potentially be used to answer the query first we will identify all of the metallized cuboid because that we, we, uh, what is cuboid yeah, data q they are viewed as a cuboid okay moreover uh, the concept for what is the metallization for example i just mentioned that it is a form of cache that contain the result of the query so the first one about first we identify all of the metallized cuboid that will be required to answer our query that can be used to answer with potentially be required to answer the query first then prune them prune means something cut them trim them cut them crop them prune prune the above set it means here we have the odd metallized cuboid we will cut them use them uh, or cut them means we will remove them the concept is why how can we to host whose cuboid which are uh, which cuboid which are required to be removed or cut or trimmed some knowledge will be required from a knowledge of the dominance relationship among the cuboid will be required means based on the knowledge of relationship between the cuboid we can cut it means the influential will be used the uninfluential and critical will be ignored then it means we will prune the above set Uh, using the knowledge of the domain of relationship from the above, then estimate the cost of the using the remaining. It means for the, since we have prone them, what are the remaining cuboid for there? We will need to check about a uh, need to check or calculate the cost of using the remaining metallized cuboid and selecting the cuboid with the least cost. Here, what is the cost? Yeah. When we are using the uh, in terms of cost, we can say which require the minimum input output resources of the computer because we are we are dealing with the computation calculation in the computation calculation we should require the minimum calculation will be required so the, the let's uh, then what are the what are the features that associated with the uh, calculation are computation are the input output resources the second one about the memory management about the memory these are the two <coughs> which define the cost if more memory resources required for the computer or more input output resources will required io resources will required for the computer it means it has a highest higher cost so the what we need to do uh, we need to figure out which qubyte Which we which cuboid required less cost or less minimum mini, less I/O resource than the memory. Now let's let's particularly give the example as <coughs> partial metallization. In the partial metallization, what is the first step? First, identify all of the metallization. Second, second one about the prune them. Third one is about the But how can we prune them based on the relationship between the cuboids? Third one is about them. We will cost uh, estimate the cost of the cuboids. Here, let's see. Uh, these are the these are the these are the steps. They are already familiar. Define Q. It is a uh, define the Q over define star scheme etc. We have discussed in the previous slides. Define Q sale. Okay, this is the name. Of, this is the uh, okay. This is the operator. Define Q. Uh, then uh, sale is the name then we have the three dimension were there year product and location these are three dimension what we required then we have the what is the measure we required to find out the sum of the sale the currency or total sale so in other words we can say as simple we uh, how many dimension were there three dimension were there what we require the measurement we require the, uh, the the dimension are year product and location and what, what we need to figure out we need to find the sum of the sale okay sum of the sale 
in the currency total sale recall that in the uh, recall that in that number how many total covid may be should be uh, since we are the single level hierarchy it means 2 power 3 equals to 8 8 qubits will be there 8 qubits should be there then but we have uh, in, you are using a partial metallization in the partial metallization it means we will prune them then based on the prune we find out these four prune them prune them then moreover we also have the dimensional hierarchies are or dimensional hierarchy or also there what are the dimensional hierarchies were there item is uh, uh, item is the uh, yes uh, uh, number of item created together is a brand for example what does it mean the uh, brand is uh, number of television dvd uh, uh, mm, let me give this images for example television uh, smartphone for example uh, these are the items for there and what about the brand brand can be samsung brand okay so here they give the dimension as dimension hierarchies are number of item uh, number of item these are the number of items were there <coughs> and uh, number of uh, in the in the brand or lower hierarchy then a state for example a country consists of number of states a state consists of number of cities a city consists of number of street street for example the Riyadh street in Riyadh city in uh, in Riyadh uh, province in the kingdom so the so they are they are the level of higher these are the hierarchy that will be required to answer uh, to solve the problem okay then what are moreover they also give this moreover they also mention these are the qubits so in other words we can say uh, what we required the, the four qubits we are they are uh, four qubits are given to us we need to find out of these four qubits which one required the minimum cost or minimum computation calculation now what is our query to what is the q this is our answer of the query before the answer of this query we need to find out of these four qubit one two three four which one will be the least cost in term of calculation our query is we need to have the queries brand state then with with the year 2000 okay noted that we were given as brand is item is the lower hierarchy than brand moreover so what is the hierarchy for, for, for this is the what is the hierarchy for the product or uh, 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 what's the hierarchy for the location of city state city state uh, street city state country now it means we will check one by one each of the qubit find the uh, computation calculation and then we will figure out which one required the minimum cost these are the steps they are the same these steps they are the same okay what we define cube as we saw in the previous slide says then the are dimension were there and these are the measurement we need to find out the other these are the dimensional hierarchies were there item is the lower hierarchy than the brand the street city and state uh, they are the uh, uh, they have a lower hierarchy than the country etc then first we need to identify calculate the first two qubits qubit number one qubit number two let's see what is qubit number one let's see first we will analyze these two qubit number one is given as item city here second qubit is given as brand country here okay we need to check uh, uh, which we need the calculation competition will be required qubit number one item city here and qubit number two brand country here and then based on our queries, our queries brand state and the year 2000 this is our query we need to figure out which number of calculation for each of the qubit let me check for example as we found the as we found the qubit number one item is of lower hierarchy item is a lower hierarchy than the brand our the qubit number one is item city here whereas the q is brand state item is a lower hierarchy moreover the uh, city 
is of lower hierarchy than state city of lower hierarchy than state then but uh, uh, about the year uh, in the about the year they have they specified year 2000 so cuboid number one cost more because item and city they are at the lower hierarchy than the brand instead because our cube is brand state whereas the cuboid is for the item city which are of lower hierarchy it means a lot of calculation will be required combined together for the item and the city we aggregate them it means this cuboid it will require a lot of calculation what about the second one second cuboid the second cuboid is the brand country year this is our cuboid what is our query our query is brand state year then okay the the first uh, the first the first, yes. the first dimensional hierarchy they are matching brand brand oh yes that is matching what about the second one in the second one we found that the in the second one our queue is for the state for the state where is the second cube is for the country as we found that the the state is of lower hierarchy instead of is of lower hierarchy it means for this calculation when we, the, the, for this calculation, it will compute or the, it compute for the country. It, it will also include about uh, if, uh, it means whereas we only required for the state. So it, it again it is required a lot of a lot of computation cost will be required. So keyword can number two cannot be used since country is of lower hierarchy than for the the state for the lower hierarchy than the country. So a lot, a lot of calculation computation will be required. Let's check about the cubite number three and cubite number four. They have okay, but the, the again these are the same. The other three and four we need to analyze. Our uh, uh, these are the, our condition. These are dimensions for there. Let's check about the cubite number three. And this is our query brand state for year 2000. Cubite number three is brand state year. Brand state year. Okay, then let try to uh, uh, try to uh, match or comparison uh, for the cubite number three and the query brand brand yes they are matching state state yes they are matching state say yes they are also matching then but here cubite number three will compute all of the year whereas our Q is only for the particular year 2000. Oh, it means if it, it, uh, it means if we need to select out of these four cubite might be possible that cubite number three may be may be used may be used because it matching the brand state but here in the cubite number three it will calculate for all of the year whereas in our query is only for the particular year 2000 then let's check about the let's check about the number four cubite number four is for example, this is the cubite number four, and this is our query. This is our query. Cubite number four is item O. Item is the lower hierarchy than brand. Then here, state, state, state. They are matching. Here, what about the third, third one? Third one, the the, the, the third cubite, uh, the third cubite contain the year 2000. It means this cubite contain the year 2000, which is matching with this one. Our query. In other words, what we found, in other words, we can found that if it, there is some tie, we, we, there is some tie will be there that uh, what we wish will be cubite will have the least cost because as in the cubite number three, uh, these two are matching with the query, with the, with the cubite number four, with the, these two are matching the, with, the, with the query. So in other words, we found that one of the problem we found that the cubite number three all they will be calculated, whereas in the cubite number four item is the lower hierarchy than the brand. Then we need to check which cube out of these four cubites which require the minimum calculation as cubite number three is better than cubite number four. This one is better, but if we have only few years, for example, if you have only two, three, four years were there, so then this will be better because. Uh, for example, 2000, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, or in the reverse, we can see if you have very, if you have the few years, then 
Q by number three will be better because that calculation will be uh, that IO resource will be required. There are few years associated. There are few years associated. Then, with comparison the item and the with 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 uh, and the survey item for each band means make the here if we have if a few years as compared to the more number of items to the brand then this is the better on the other hand if on the if we have the large number of years more number of years and we have the few items associated with the brand then qbyte number 4 is better qbyte number is better if efficient indices are available for efficient indices are available mean, means if you have the a few items associated with the brand as compared to the large number of years uh, large number of years then we can say qbyte number 4 is better so in other words we can say based on the condition we can say either 3 is better or the 4 is better uh, uh, for what condition 3 is better if we have the few years associated and for what condition we have the qbyte number 4 if we have the if we have the uh, uh, fa indexes or few item they are associated with the uh, brand okay we will stop right now inshallah we will the uh, next time we, in the next lecture we will discuss about the food metallization now you may get the session thank you very much doctor yes i want to ask you about uh, attendance yes my attendance says it's 71.25 what does that mean yes i have been attending mm. every time except for two classes okay mm. why does it say 71.25 okay the point is here it is not something manual attendance the it is it is recorded make the aggregation from the lecture number one moreover the software which is which is used in the lms it also check how much time you at how much time you attend for example some of these students if they only attend for example 10 minutes or 15 minutes out of out of total 15 minutes so then uh, it will give uh, it will give them some uh, lower number on the other hand, for example out of 50 minutes you attend 40 minutes then you so so uh, so you so it's these numbers show something the, the point it is some automatic automatic system is there this is the automatic system that that will record about number of duration of the time you attend and all of the make the aggregation of all of the lectures uh, that might be possible because of the uh, the point is uh, some of these students for example they have the problem for the problem for the we can say net connection that's why uh, after some time they they uh, it looked like they leave after they attend this somehow can be managed but at least these are these are this answer the question what does it mean by 70 percent okay it will aggregate all of your attendance from the lecture one moreover it also check about the duration of time you attend okay. but i arrive at nine every day so why is it 71.25 my god think <laughs> already went <laughs> okay the point is here the point is here it is something about the lms what the system is told us some of we try to manage it sometime uh, we let me let me uh, do I what the system, the system is doing. broken i think huh? the system i think the system isn't working sometimes like it's uh, uh, no, it, 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 the point is it is not the system is not working the point is here the system is using its algorithm means the duration of time i i put for example as you just mentioned first two lecture you did not attend just mention about okay as you just mentioned first two lecture you don't but you are continuously attending the lecture since the start until the end so maybe it will so it will if we make the calculation it will the, the algorithm is the the, the the lms awareness so just for right now just focus on the lecture okay get my point you will let me let on me yes okay i i can focus on the lecture but uh, if it yes. is if it ends up forbidding me from taking the final exam, even though I'm attending, why, why focus on the lecture? <laughs> because it says 71.25 isn't being forbidden from the final 25%. Uh, 
That's what I mean when I say 71.25. What does that number mean? Okay, the point is, as I just mentioned about, thus, thus LMS, LMS system, they calculate number of lectures you are attending along with number, the duration of time you are attending. I will give another example. Suppose one of the student, if he tells that he attend all of the lecture, but the duration of the lecture he attend is only 20 minutes out of 50, then it will give some lower number. Get, get my point? For example, you only attend 20 minutes. Each of you has a 20 minutes. 20 minute. uh -huh. I attend every day, every day at 9, every day. Okay. I sit in front of the computer just waiting okay, for that, Okay, that's going okay. So as you just mentioned, as you just mentioned, you did not attend first two lecture. Is it so? No, I attended first lecture. Uh, there was two lectures I missed from this week and the week before. Okay, M might be possible because of the missing lecture. Might be possible because of the missing lecture. It will give this number. I, I, okay, the point is here, your good name is Faisal. Uh, okay, okay, the point is, the, okay, the, uh, the point is here, um, I've noted your concern, try our best, from my side, I will try our best to manage, okay, not only for you, for, okay, but for also for the rest of the student, okay? Okay, but is it possible if a lot of people like me, uh, that ha have a low number even though they attend a lot? If, Mind you, yes, if it's yes, like that, yes. can you switch it into a manual uh, attendance? <laughs> if we will switch to the manual, it requires a lot of time. Because you have, for example, 25 students were there, I will ask, okay, Mr. Faisal, yes, and Mr. Saad, if someone told, yes, I'm not sure either, he is Saad, is Abdullah, is Ahmad, who is he? Okay, let's continue with this one. We will try to figure out, okay? Okay. Let's can. Let's continue what the department told us, okay? You, then we will figure out. Okay. Okay. Okay, so thanks, Afi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.